welcome back. Thank you for joining me. Um, I just wanted to try and get a little reading this morning. We're going to just check the energy right here. I tried to get a reading earlier and I was um, unable to. It was a mess. Alright, what virtues are you working on in the collective spirit? What virtues are you working on, Holy Spirit? Can I get a message, please, for the collective? Can you help us to connect? Can you help us scatter our enemies? What are you doing in the collective today, Holy Spirit? Stewardship again, y'all. It's about our money and service. Serving others. So, and kindness overall. Being kind. Treating others as you would have them treat you. So this is about managing what we've been given for God's glory. Using our hands, feet, and heart to honor God and love others. And being kind. Okay? What's the overall Tarot energy that's working in the collective spirit? <clears throat> We're manifesting. Alright. What's not working? That's beautiful. We're making stuff happen, collective. We're coming out of this stuck place where we've been. We're fixing to come out of this stuck place. And how do we pull this together? How does the collective pull this together, Spirit, what we're manifesting? The high priest in reverse. So somehow not using our intuition. Again, Spirit is in our faith on the bottom of the deck. So, Spirit is about to do something amazing, y'all, is basically what it comes down to. I mean, there's no other way to say it. <clears throat> I feel like somebody might need protection this morning. How did this happen to the collective? How did this happen to the collective? Spirit's getting just the right card. You see that? Holy Spirit, how did this happen to the collective? Somebody was angry. Or there was some fire, which is like passion, but it can be a spark of anger. Alright, well what's being hidden from the collective spirit? Blessings and unity. Blessings and unity are being hidden. What's being shown? So we're being blessed and we're, we're unified, but we're hiding that for some reason. <coughs> Somebody's about to have an awakening and they're going to heal and have creative power. Alright, what should the collective do next, Spirit? Oh, baby. They're going to have protection, resurrection, and a guardian angel. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's a lot of protection, collective. Do you see that? And joy is what we don't see coming. We have faith and joy coming. Alright, what spiritual gifts are you working on in the collective? What spiritual gifts are manifesting us out of this stuck place? We have the clouds. So somehow the clouds are significant to this situation. What else? Timing and using our intuition. But for some reason it's in reverse right now. <clears throat> and then we're going to have this magician energy coming too. Alright, for the unity, Spirit, what would this person that needs unity and blessings that's hiding their unity, what would they say? What would this person say? Anger. That's what I thought. There's anger here. 
I'm upset and I need some time to cool down. I want you to I want you close to me, but I'm not ready for a commitment. So this unity that's being hidden and these blessings, there's the, there's anger. They they're angry and they don't want any strings attached. What would the other person say to them? What would the other person say to them? Even though we shouldn't, I still want to. And so much has happened between us in the past. Can we work through it again? So something's happened that you shouldn't have done and it's caused anger and you don't want any commitment but you're going to have it because it's showing up here as what's hidden and i know that i want you in my future i'm working on plans to make that happen all right so let's pull a little to run here all right why is the magician here Because somebody has, this is the queen of swords energy. This woman has good boundaries. She's very intellectual. She is a deep thinker. She's very independent. She doesn't need anybody. And this is the one that's doing this, making this happen. And it's because she has set good boundaries. And she's seen the truth about this situation. She's seen through the illusions. Why is the hangman here in reverse? She's bringing clarity to this situation. She's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Wow, her counterparts here. Something's ending because they're letting go and moving on. This king of swords is ending something. What's ending? So one of these people is ending. It's, it's the third party. And a friendship. Why is the high priest here? Because somebody's going to come in with a message, and they're not, they don't know this is about to happen, but somebody's planning on getting hurt. Or not getting hurt. Why did I say that? Somebody's making plans that are going to be hurtful. They're making plans to win at all costs. Who are they trying to win at all costs with? What's going on here? Justice jumped out. Leapt out. This could be something legal. Why is justice here? Why is justice here? Because of a friendship. Somebody's moving forward. Some, there's, there's a relationship moving forward here. <coughs> Can you show me who they're moving forward with? Let's put them back in. Show me who's moving forward here. Whoa, it has to do with this King of Pentacles that they weren't moving towards. Who's moving towards this King of Pentacles? It has to do with looking for an opportunity to stop being codependent. Who are they going to be with at the end of all of this? It could be same sex. It could be two men. But it doesn't have to be. That looks like... Why is the higher point here in reverse? Because of somebody working on something brand new. They're working on something new now. Who are they working on this new with? Who is this Knight of Cups moving towards? That could be a oh wait there she is the queen of wands the knight of cups is moving towards the queen of wands because she said she's finished with this stuff 
Why is the King of Pentacles here? Who is he working with? The Queen of Pentacles. And not just being deceptive anymore. Intuitively, this Queen of Pentacles knows that there's no deception. Or that there may be a chance of deception. That's where the anger comes in. Is between this Queen of Pentacles and this King of Pentacles. And it's because he's moving towards this other woman. And she's married to him. What might be the outcome here, Spirit? Spirit says we call the card cycle. So we have a King and Queen of Pentacles who are also a King and Queen of Swords. And it looks like he's moving towards somebody else. He's also spying. There's about to be a conversation had here. Come on. Alright, what might be the outcome of this situation between them? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? There, somebody's going to stop putting money into this. Why is the Two of Wands here? So something new is starting with this Knight of Cups. Who's moving towards this? Where is he moving towards? He's ending. What's he ending? I think he's ending it with this other person. Judgment came out. What about judgment in the world? Yeah. The Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is a player. Or has had a player. Something going on with this Queen of Pentacles messing around, being deceptive. And what's going to happen with this Queen of Pentacles? Oh, Temperance came out. What about temperance? So uh, self-control. She's deciding to have self-control and she's about to end something. End it with who? Can you show me who she's ending it with? There's the fight. There's the argument. The exciting message. There's going to be some secrets that come out. Can you show me who this is? About some codependency. And this person is tired of giving and giving and giving and never getting anything in return. And it's this woman right here. She's tired. She might be moving towards loving herself. What's going to be the outcome again, Spirit? Show me again. Oh, the cow tried to come out. They think there's no hope for this. But they're coming out of this stuck place. They're determined to because they're tired of not using their intuition. And it's this woman right here. This fire sign. Who's tired of being in denial. I think there's two women here. I think there's a fire sign and an earth sign. <clears throat> and this man right here has been playing both of these women. What's going to be the outcome of this man spirit? They're gonna have no just they're gonna have no choice but to be independent finally. And what else? This person's gonna have to be independent. And he's gonna be this king of pentacles. He's finally gonna man up and be strong. I don't know what else to say here. What needs to be surrendered? Just do nothing. Just sit back and be quiet and watch what's happening here. What else? Surrender to spirit and stop people pleasing. And let go of your negative thinking. Spirit said go one more time.
and somebody might need to get some sleep and stop procrastinating. Surrender to your soul's path. Time to start that new thing you've been wanting to start. All right, what would you say out of this deck, Spirit? Am I afraid to be seen? Again, are you afraid to be seen? What parts of you do you hide so you can be socially accepted and fit in? Are you being authentic? Do you allow yourself to be all of you? What do you need to feel so you can be safe to be seen? What is spying or something? They're afraid to be their self. What else, Spirit? What if it was easy, and do I know all my strengths, and am I using them? No, this is not going to be easy, because this person has been playing both of these people. And because of this, they have allowed this person to be immature, to show up as the Knight of Cups, who doesn't move towards anybody, but causes a lot of drama. And it's time for this to end. It's not going to be easy, but you're strong enough. You have what it takes. You have this strength. You may be a Leo. There could be a Virgo. There could be a Sagittarius. And there's a water sign here. Cap uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There might be a Capricorn also. And how does your body want to move today? How does your body want to move today? Listen and joyfully do. When we move, we change our state and raise our vibration. This new elevated state becomes a channel for more energy. Are you moving your body daily? Are you passionate about it? Is it time to try something new? And I think that it is. I think that it is. All right, can you show me what happened here, Spirit? Can you show me what happened? There's something being hidden about a third party. What else? Somebody was detached and disconnected and they had to say no. They had to detach from this and say no. Anything else, Spirit? There's going to be a commitment out of this. Somehow there's going to be a commitment that's going to be a surprise. Can you show us this commitment? Because we see it over here with unity and blessings. Can you show me this commitment, Spirit? Show me the commitment. Somebody's going to take a break, a pause, and be reinvented. What else? There's going to be communication that somebody's going to return and something new is going to begin here. Because this is the end of the cycle. And the answer is going to be yes to this commitment. Something may have happened in this connection in the spring. All right, what healing needs to be done here? Y'all are manifesting this. What else? How teachable are you? Pay attention to your dreams and stop pretending. Take off your mask. Are you afraid to be seen? Why are you afraid to be seen? You might be a dancer. There's love here for sure. Alright, what message do you have out of here, Spirit? Balance. One person has been given too much and we saw that. What else? Michael. Gabriel. Finances. Financial challenges are affecting this. And we see that somebody's been paying too much money out here and getting nothing in return. There needs to be forgiveness. And somebody's about to get a second chance because this relationship deserves a second chance. Talk to me about the finances, Spirit. Celebrate. Somebody was unreliable. It's time to take action and somebody's going to get recognition for their work. There may be an unforeseen increase in your income. <clears throat> Expect, expected money may not return. There's two people here. One of you is going to have celebration, and the other one needs to know that somebody's unreliable to take action. Nothing is going to change if you don't take action. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. It's going to lead to recognition, and it could be public recognition. 
and it's time to grow up and stop rescuing people. We see that there's codependency going on here. All right, message out of these cards here. It's time to examine this a little deeper and stop trying to control every damn thing. And pack your bag. Somebody's going to be moving. Anything else, spirit? Fuck your feelings. You have logic for a reason, and it's time for shit to get real. Your boundaries are trash. And keep shit clean. Gross bathroom, bathrooms and dirty floors suck. I don't know what all that means, but somebody's going to know. I promise you. What message do you have? That card fell out. Be bold and make the first move. Let's see what message we can get from the numerology text out this reading. A personal issue is about to reach resolution. Luck is on your side. Believe in the impossible. Nothing is going to come of this situation. And be bold and make the first move. Take it as it resonates, I guess. I have two hearts connected. Dream, hope, trust, love. Dream, hope, trust, love. I have a Christmas tree. I have dream again. I have a perfume bottle. I have an elephant, a starfish, friends forever, two hands for intuition, a big one and a little one, a tree of life or a family tree, a sunshine, a skeleton key, live the life you love. I have a deer, a buck, I have a cat, I have um, another elephant, the angels on the bridge with the children. Always remember, you are braver than you believe, stronger than you think, smarter than, I'm um, braver than you, hold on, braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and loved more than you know. I have another skeleton key, two swans connected, an elephant, and a butterfly. <coughs> A uh, music note with a skull, a lotus flower, an arrow, a feather, cherries, a compass, the world, a cash sign, kundalini rising, live your dream, and every fair from fair sometimes declines. I have two identical horses. I have a hand. I have um, a skull, two infinity signs, an Eiffel Tower, maybe you live in a tower, and Harry Potter nine and three quarters. All right, I hope this made sense to somebody. I'll be back later with another reading. Miss Mary has company from out of town today. Be blessed, y'all. Bye-bye.